Simple Car Guy here and today I'm reviewing this Launch Millennium 90 Pro Diagnostic Scan Tool that has full OBD2 functionality, 6 reset functions and can diagnose 4 main systems on most modern cars. This scanner is currently listed for around $185 with an extra 10% off at checkout. Let's see if it's worth the price and what else it offers. So looking at the box here, we can see the device itself. It has a pretty nice, interesting uh, form factor. So we'll see if that works better. It has master reset function. We'll see what that does. Supports uh, these following uh, systems on the car. So SRS, ABS, engine, uh, I assume this is automatic transmission. Of course, it supports full OBD2 functionality. You can print uh, your results and graph, so that's very nice. You have the uh, DTC database, so you can look up the codes and see what they mean. And of course, live data. We'll see if they mean individual modules on these systems or if this is standard OBD2 functionality or just like standard uh, PID uh, live data. All right, includes the connector, cool. On the back, same stuff. So we have 3.5 TFT color screen. All right, full coverage for domestic Asian and European cars, uh, 1996 or 1996 or newer. All right, uh, multilingual, sure, live data stream for, okay, so we do have individual live data for modules on each of these systems. We'll see how well that works. So we can of course read and clear data on those individual modules, reset. The reset functions are for oil, EPB, BMS, DPF, SAS, and ABS. We'll discuss those further in detail in just a second. And you have four color graphs. That's cool. So you can graph up to four different items at the same time. Now this graph here at the bottom, this is very cool to see all of the, first of all, all of the functionality that it supports, but also compared to all of the other uh, scanners in the launch uh, Millennium uh, skew, I guess. All right, I'm gonna open it up and see what we got inside. All right, we also have this white box in there. Let's see what's in there. Oh, cool, we have a case. All right, so we got the nice case that also has our manual, I assume, quick start guide, something like that, and the USB cable. All right, so we got a mini USB uh, and a case, so that's nice. You get to keep it in the case. You don't have to scratch it up in the car. Cool, detachable cable. And we have the device itself. All right, so you have your micro SD slot at the bottom, the cable uh, the you can use to update, as well as like turn on the device and I don't know, play around with it without being in the car. Not too much on the back. Let's take off this protective. That looks like a very nice screen. We got the buttons here at the bottom. So we have DTC, ER, IM, and the question mark. We'll see what those do exactly. D-pad, love when they have D-pads instead of just like up or down. Back end, okay. Let's go plug this into a car and see what we can do with this. All right, now that we're in the car, let's talk about the different functions of this device. First, I'm gonna start with the buttons here. You have DTC, ER, IM, and a question mark. So let's see what they do. DTC basically will check if the car has any faults without having to go through any individual modules or anything like that. So a very quick and easy way to see what's up with the car. ER, this is going to be emission related. So if you have anything related to emissions, it will check and you can reset it if needed. All right, I'm not gonna do that because if you do reset it right before going to go check for emissions, you will not pass. So, you know, you have to make sure the car is driven after it's reset. Now, the next one is I am. So this is uh, for emissions once again, to get tested for emissions, I'm gonna hit okay. And we can see on this card that we have our misfire monitors okay, fuel system monitors okay, and all that stuff is good to go. And you can of course oops, scroll to the second page as well and see what's going on there. All right, let's go back. So now, we, now that we know all three buttons, very cool. These are kind of shortcuts, and you know, if you don't have a lot of time to see what's going on, you can easily use those and see what's happening. The question mark. This will tell you uh, additional details on certain functions. So if you're not really sure about the function, it will tell you what it is. All right. So now the main menu. Uh, what do we have here? We have di diagnose, review, settings. Very simple menu. I love it. So let's go to settings first. And here we can change our language. So we can see, change it to one of these languages. 
We also have our units of measure, metric and imperial, very simple beeper, I turned that off. And we also have record mode, so we can start recording certain data if we want to. I, I'm not going to be using that, so I have it turned off. And of course we have the review tab, so this is going to be uh, reviewing the last scanned things on this car. Like we just did, we scanned the DTCs, that, that's what this button did. So we can see the previous results, pretty cool. All right, let's go back and now use, go to the main function to diagnose. I'm going to go in and here we have two different options. We have OBD2 and we have scan. So this is the standard OBD2 functionality, just like a lot of uh, less expensive scanners have. Uh, so let's check that out first. We we're just going to go very quickly through it. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because I've done it on many, many multiple uh, scanners. So I don't think it's necessary. Uh, so first we're presented with the IM monitor, so it's the same stuff that we saw when we clicked IM. Alright, I'm going to click OK, and then it takes you to the actual menu where you can read your codes. So uh, right away it tells you there's no codes, or erase codes if you had any, that same IM readiness, so it's going to be slightly presented different probably, well, actually the same menu. Alright, cool. We have data stream, so this is going to be live data from the generic PIDs. So we can do view all items, just like this. It's going to show you all of that stuff and you know you can scroll through there's 38 different pids on this uh, card that you can review very nice we can also view graphic items so it's going to show you the ones that, we, that can be graphed and then you can select so we can select let's say this one and it's going to start graphing as it's moving along very cool and of course you can select items if you don't want to be displaying all of that information um, you know you can just do a couple of them at a time and then you just have those three displayed instead of uh, all of the items that you had previously. Very cool, and this thing can grab four items at the same time, which is nice. Freeze frame, this will be, right now there's gonna be no data in here since this car doesn't have any issues, but if your car has been having emission issues, that's where that data would be recorded to. You also have your O2 sensor test, very nice, you know, also re emission related. So a lot of the standard OBD2 functionality is emission related. You also have EVAP test and some vehicle information as well as onboard monitoring. Very cool, but this is not the main attraction of this device. So I'm going to go back to the main menu and go to scan. Now, now that I have selected scan, we have a few different vehicles in here. I'm going to scroll through them just in case you want to see what you know vehicles or makes this scanner supports. Seems like a decent amount too. All right. So we're going to go back to the front to the start of the menu and I'm going to go to BMW. Here we have the main functionality of this device. We have diagnose. So this is the one that's going to be scanning our individual modules, the four modules that this system allows, which is engine, ABS, transmission and SRS. But we also have six reset functions. This is what you're paying, you know, 180 or whatever dollars the scanner is. Uh, it's for these reset functions and the diag diagnose function here. So uh, on a lot of scanners, what you see is that you have to pay like $29.99 a year per function, or you're going to be spending a lot more money for these functions. So this is a pretty good deal where you're getting six different reset functions for not a lot of money, honestly. But you have your oil lamp reset. So if you've changed your oil, you want to reset it, obviously, or, well, this one's ABS bleeding, but brake reset is going to reset your brakes. So on a lot of BMWs, as an example, there's a sensor that measures the brake pads. You can reset that once you put a new sensor in. You also have your steering angle reset, DPF. DPF is going to be for diesel, uh, I think diesel par particle something, don't remember exactly. Battery chain. So this one's huge. If you change the battery on your BMW, the dealer will charge you I think it's like $180 so you can literally spend less money on this device and change the battery yourself and program it using this tool very cool uh, love that this you know functionality is included so these are the six reset functions but now let's go ahead and take a look at the diagnose and see uh, what we can see in there all right so so it's probably scanning all of the modules and then it's going to show us only the modules that are supported, and like I mentioned, those are engine, ABS, transmission, and SRS, which is airbags. After just a few seconds, it has pulled the information up for us, and we can go automatic or manual select. Manual select will allow us to select different modules. So these are all the modules that are selected. 
or we can go automatic and it will scan and show us all of the modules that uh, that supports on its own. So I don't see why you'd use the manual one. This is easier, might take just a tiny bit more time. And to be clear here, this will support all modules that are part of that system. So if your engine has, for example, uh, two modules, it will show both of them. So first one is going to be our motor one. This is what is very cool about the scanner, right? You can see, of course, if there was any issues. Oh, this one does have some issues, as you can see. We have codes for our um, ECM. So this is going to be the engine control module. And you can see we have codes specifically for that module. And as you saw earlier, our standard OBD2 functionality did not find any codes. But clearly, there are codes on this car, but specific to this module. All right, so we have this one, we have, okay, my battery is dying, so that's why we're seeing these codes. But now that we see those codes, we can clear them. Now that I'm charging my battery, I've cleared those out. Now if you go back and read those codes, there you go, nothing to see. And notice how fast this scanner reads everything. It goes from menu to menu. This is pretty unusual for this price range. Usually it takes way, way longer to go between the menus and uh, scan different modules on the car because it is a lot of information that it's receiving. Now, that's not the only cool thing that you can see. Um, what you can also see here is live data. So they're saying uh, read data streams. Uh, this is uh, all the sensors that the module reports and this will be available pretty much for any car and whatever the car presents. Of course, not every car is going to be showing the same sensors, but in this case we have our uh, fuel pressure, so this is pretty cool. We can see what the fuel pressure is on the high pressure fuel pump. Let's see everything on here. Uh, yep. Select, go back, and then it maps it for us. So we have our rail pressure is 7.5 MPA. I should probably switch that to Imperial so I know what that means in PSI. But we also have the rail pressure. Very cool. I, this information is super useful. But yeah, very, very cool. And you can also see motor operating values all of that information. This provides a ton of information on each and every single module that it supports in each of the systems that it supports. That's what makes this, uh, you know, a diagnostics tool and not just a code reader. All right, we can also check out, let's see, we'll go to the, um, let's go to SRS system, see what we can see in there. And if you notice, you didn't see any, um, uh, automatic transmission modules because this is a manual car. All right, no codes here, but let's take a look at the live data. I'm gonna go to general. All right, so now this this is what the module reports for the airbag information. As you can see, we have the seat belt, seat belt, airbag, airbag. So our airbags on because the car is running. But I want to see if I plug in my seat belt. Look at that. So I just put my seat belt on and it's changing live. So you can clearly see it's live data. Very cool. I love this functionality on, you know, devices like this where it's not super expensive and you can see all of this data. It's just cool. Uh, but yeah, on that note, you can do all of that functionality on every single module that it supports within the four uh, systems, like I mentioned, engine, ABS, transmission, and SRS. So, to summarize this device, uh, some of the pros are it can see module specific live data and codes. It can reset, it has reset functions. So we have six reset functions that we saw just here. Yeah, right there. So all of those reset functions. You have four live data graphs. So that's pretty cool. You also have this cool vertical LCD. I like it more than when it's uh, like this. This might be better for camera. But when you use it, it's in one hand, so it's kind of easy to use. But basically, this is a semi-professional scanner. You know, many other scanners require yearly payment for this functionality or cost at least 50% more. Some of the negatives, well, it will not show module-specific codes outside of the supported system. So if you have something with, oh, I don't know, the retractable roof, because this is a Z4, so it has a retractable roof, you will not be able to troubleshoot it or see live data for that. On that note, Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to purchase one of these, check out the link down in the description. 
And if you have any comments or concerns or questions, leave those in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one.